Well, good morning and welcome back. You know, as the weather gets warmer and warmer, we're going to be spending more and more time outside. But that means you could come home with something you don't want. Ticks. Jennifer Krause is here with more on the dangers. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, and that's right. Diseases carried by ticks are on the rise across the country, which is why you want to do what you can to protect yourself and keep from getting bitten. Spring has arrived, and along with it, tick season. And in some areas, tick season may have even started back in the winter. And by May, they're in their element and out in full force everywhere. Ticks can be found from coast to coast, and the number of tick-borne diseases like Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and Lyme disease in particular have been on the rise in recent years, so it's really important to take proper precautions. It's also good to remember the best defense is a good offense. Make it difficult for ticks to bite you. That means if you're out in a wooded or grassy area, be sure to dress correctly. You should wear long sleeves and long pants that are tucked into your socks. That will keep the ticks from getting up under your clothing. It's also a good idea to wear light colors so that it's easier to see any ticks that may be crawling on you. Also, before you leave your house, apply an insect repellent to any exposed skin as well as the outside of your clothing. Repellents that contain 15 to 30 percent DEET earn most of the top spots in Consumer Reports tests. But Consumer Reports also recommends some products with 30 percent oil of lemon eucalyptus or 20 percent picandin. Two of Consumer Reports' best buy options are Total Home Woodland Scent Insect Repellent and 3M Ultrathon Insect Insect repellent eight. And when you get home, be sure to hop in the shower and check yourself for ticks. Showering can wash away any ticks that may be on your skin but not yet attached, and it's an opportunity to check your skin for any bites. And if you are bitten by a tick, don't panic. Just grab a pair of tweezers and carefully remove it. The sooner you remove the tick, the less chance it will have to transmit disease. <laughs> Talk about live TV. I was going to talk about how you want to check your pets for ticks as well with Charlie and Charlie heard a noise outside and just got up and left. But what I was going to say was you do want to check your pets and keep them safe from ticks as well. They've got shampoos, they've got sprays, and they also have chews like this that Charlie takes once a month. Whatever you use, you still want to check your dog whenever they come inside, especially if they've been playing in high grass. And just like with people, you want to just use tweezers and carefully pull them out. But I recommend, Leland, that you do it either in the morning when generally they're subdued or you have a big thing of treats. Oh, here he comes. He hears the treats. Um, you have a big thing of treats to keep him still to get the, uh, the tick out. 